T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978. Right now, I'm going to be reviewing this Marvel Select Iron Spider Man or Iron Spidey, but they just call him Infinity War Spider Man. So he didn't have his own special name, actually. And that. Or this suit didn't have its own special name in the movie. Anywho, I found this at Collector's Corner downtown in Baltimore today. Unfortunately, the store is closing. But fortunately for me, it said everything was 60% off. So I was hoping to find some cool things. And this was the coolest thing that I saw. Well, they had a few DC toys. and A lot of DC toys. That's the main thing that they had in there. But anywho, let's start to really look at this dude. First off, as far as his actual base body, they made several improvements over his, over his um, homecoming Spider-Man body. Number one, they changed the hips. I'm going to get back to these hips. You may have noticed it while I was doing my little float around. But yeah, they changed the hip design so it doesn't have that that weird, that weird look that they had that DC multiverse was using but um other improvements is they changed the way the diaphragm works and or, or all the ab articulation that was one unfortunately unfortunate thing they had going on with the homecoming body I mean this ab crunch already by itself is way better than the homecoming body that's good and you can go back but you have the added crunch of the actual abdominal area so it's pretty much sh figure art style right there so the upper part rotates more than the lower part but i love that i wish when i was talking about this in that captain marvel review this is what i was trying to say that hasbro needs to do and if marvel select is branching out come on hasbro and I noticed this earlier that their costumes are kind of similar in color scheme, but of course to let you see this right now since I brought her out, <clears throat> Marvel Select is a 7 inch line, so whereas these two should probably be around the same height, Spider-Man is towering over her and we're going to tower over a ton of your Marvel Legends figures, so no he's not in scale unfortunately but only thing they could have did more to make this like an sh figure arts is give him a joint at the bottom of the neck so the knock can neck can rock back and forth butterfly joints or a ball joint in there at least and drop down hips if they, if he had that he'd be a freaking cheap big sh figure arts but uh, these legs, they're nicely painted and whatnot. It's a ton of detail in them. Like, look at that. Like, paint it, paint it, paint it. Now, there are some paint mishaps I have on my figure. Like, right up in there. Some of this, I don't remember saying that earlier, so I don't know if I... I couldn't have rubbed it up against anything because it doesn't touch anything, to be honest. But, yeah, these legs are freaking amazing to me because they have universal joints at each one of these joints. So, you can rotate them and they bend. I can't believe they, they did anything like this. <laughs> like, once again, Hasbro, with that Doc Ock figure... This is what people expected. Unfortunately, these joints are weak as crap. They're not going to hold anybody up, and they're not going to hold Spider-Man himself up. They are weak. I mean, they're just for display only. I do not know whether they pop out of the back. I would imagine that they do, but I am I'm scared to do it, so... They're going to stay in there permanently. But my only issue with this figure besides these being weak. The way, the, even though they improved the leg design so that 
they can look more natural when he does do these poses and whatnot. I think they should have made this part thicker so that when he kicks forward, it blends in more with his butt to make it look like the anatomy isn't weird. I've had played with some Spider-Man Marvel Legends that does have that, but yeah, that does look weird. Only other things as far as the sculpt that could look weird is the knee joints. When you bend it, it's like the knee goes in. But yeah, this is a surprisingly awesome figure to be honest. You saw his fisted hands, he came packaged with actually these wall crawling hands right here. And to let you see every fist, every hand, his whole body, where is it? That's awesome right there, his whole body is textured with the cobwebs, the metallic cobwebs, but that's very cool, I like that amount of detail that they gave him. The gauntlets are a separate piece, so you just pull the hands out like you do with Marvel Legends or any other figure that has ball off hands, and you saw they have the peg on the end. Of course, every good Spider-Man has to come with flipping hands or web shooting hands. And unlike the PS4 Spider-Man, he does actually come with web swinging hands and they do have the roll of the dice action right there. Oh, well, that's cool. Unfortunately, he didn't come with webs. I guess all the hands and these arms they, that he comes with, they figured th those are his accessories. And these gauntlets, I guess, could be considered accessories since they can be removed. So. I guess they had to sacrifice somewhere. But if you have some old twisty ties from old toys, or if you have the PS4 Spidey, you can use those webs. I always can't find something, and that's what I can't find right now. The PS4 Spidey, wherever I put him and his webs. I've been forgetting to do this, this whole review. The head can pop off, but unfortunately for me, since I don't have this version that has the unmasked head, I don't have the head that actually goes to the select. This is the Marvel Legends. This is what it will look like on this body right here. If you wanted to permanently make the hole bigger so the head can fit on there, it wouldn't be too bad because this is kind of a big head even though the body is that little next to this one. But it looks about right. I would imagine it would sit on there even lower if the ball joint could actually fit up in there. I assume, but I can't get the ball joint in there, unfortunately. All right, here he is next to his homecoming self. And yeah, they did make improvements on how the joint works, but like I said, those hips just look a little bit too small for this body, almost like it's not even for this figure. But he, when he does kick out, he doesn't look like this, <laughs> which uh, has always been ugly to me. And this diaphragm joint is very stiff and tight. But yeah, awesome figure. It's big. It's not going to go with your Marvel Legends. It'll go with your Marvel Selects. If you're a Spider-Man collector, it, was, it won't even matter because... You need every Spider-Man. Anywho, I showed y'all everything. I like it. You just have to decide on whether you like it or not. Thank you guys for watching this. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click. Click the videos you should view.